Hello friends, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming and welcome to the day one update. It's been about 27 hours since the Le Legion League started and I've been playing for 15 and a half of those so I've been pretty busy playing a lot and having a lot of fun. This is my Cyclone Slayer. I'm currently level 80. Um, I'd probably be a little bit higher and a little bit further along but I've been focusing on accumulating currency and I just want to uh, talk about kind of how my league start went how it felt leveling this kind of uncharted character and I'll show you a little bit of mapping as well so starting off uh, I actually started off with cleave and did a lot of the more basic stuff you know I just went cleave into sunder uh, I was using two one-handers with cleave. Uh, I had no idea what to, what new support gems to use. I ended up getting fortify, uh, melee physical, and uh, I was actually using maim for a very long time as well, which I'm still kind of leveling up because my gems are a mess and I don't have any kind of clear indication on what I want to do. But uh, for the most part, I just went through here uh, as planned, grabbed Destroyer, uh, went over to the tree up here, and then I actually came down and got Brinkmanship very early because I wanted to be close to Soul of Steel because the 150 armor flat uh, plus the increased percent armor you get throughout that is actually pretty substantial along with the additional physical damage reduction in the early game defensively and that combined with fortify and flesh and stone using the uh, using the stone or the sand version of it for the blind made it so I pretty much didn't take any damage going through the leveling process so I felt pretty well invincible I was uh, tanking Izaro I was killing Kitava with one hand, drinking my coffee, not even worrying about using a potion at all. It was absolutely a dream. Of course, I got the leech over here in the two-handed martial expert or martial experience rather. And uh yeah, everything went as planned except for one thing. I haven't actually gone crit yet, and I'm not 100% sure I am going to go crit. The only real crit note I have is the crit multi over here. But other than that, I'm still sitting at a 7.5% crit chance, which is the base crit chance of my weapon. This weapon, by the way, just bought it for about 40 chaos, and it's a 400, what was it? Uh, 484 DPS, so not a bad deal. Uh, of course, I'll be looking to get in a serious disfavor, but currently they're about 4.5 to 5 exalts. So I'm probably going to wait a little while there. But as soon as I got Cyclone, it was actually wonderful. A wonderful leveling experience, except for one thing. I vastly underestimated how much mana you could burn through, even at when it started it was at 2 or 3 mana. But I was also attacking you know, 5 or 6 times per second. So I did have to pick up both mana flows and revelry, as well as I had a Worm's Molt while leveling. So between those three things, I was able to maintain my mana, but it was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. And without those, I would just have to constantly spam my mana potion. It was really annoying. I would recommend, well, I needed the intelligence anyway, so mana flows wasn't a bad pickup. But um, yeah, Revelry, I'd prefer not to have to use this, but the mana gained on enemy hits really keeps you topped off even currently I'm using it maybe I'll spec out when I go to grab hatchet master um, which I might do I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I want to do here I definitely want to take this jewel slot but I haven't have been a little bit too lazy to buy anything in fact this axe is the only thing I bought since I've started uh, the rest of it is self found self crafted uh, what I used from like level 60 to level uh, 79 was this axe right here that I self-crafted. I got it from, uh, or I bought it when I was in Blood Aqueducts from the Act 9 town. I just basically uh, put a transmute on it, altered it until I hit flat, uh, the flat physical, 
and then I regaled it, and then I crafted the physical damage for four chaos. So uh, it served me pretty well. I my DPS is quite a bit higher now, uh, almost sixty thousand, and that doesn't include the maim from flesh and stone. Or the Impale, which I do have Impale Chance. I have Dread Banner, which gives me 20%. As well as the Forceful Skewering Nodes, which gives me another 20%. So that's 40% total. Uh, I hit um, about 7 to 8 times per second. So 40% of that puts me at full Impale Stacks at about 1.7 seconds on average. So it's still pretty good. I'm not killing bosses in two seconds just yet anyway so having more than the 40 percent in pale chance doesn't seem worth it i didn't really feel like going to swift skewering even though the impale effect could be very valuable as well for damage i also haven't even gotten berserking yet because as you can see with the amount of mana i have i actually do burn through it relatively quickly if i'm not hitting anything sometimes if i'm not paying too close of attention uh, I'll get that going and I'll end up running myself out of mana. I do have a mana potion for that, which I haven't even rolled. My flasks are a mess. I have two bleed removal flasks for some reason. Um, and freeze removal. I don't have curse removal. I'm still getting everything figured out. I kind of just... Uh, my strategy, I just want to give a quick money-making tip here. So the thing I did when I got to Blood Aqueducts is I started just tossing all of the I level 60 rares unidentified into this stash tab here and I started to save up sulfite and when I did that I went to the mine and in the mine I delved from level monster level 60 to 65 um, just around that area I went and got like the jewelry and the generic item nodes as much as I could and basically I just did the chaos recipe and that was valuable because on after about what was it about 11 hours of play people were selling exalts for 20 chaos so being able to get in and buy exalts for 20 chaos very early on can be extremely valuable and it is possible you can find someone or you can set it up uh, saying you want to sell your 20 chaos for an exalt and you might get a you might get someone messaging you there just wanting to get that 20 chaos so they can buy uh, items for early endgame. But I was completely solo cell found until literally 15-20 uh, minutes before I started recording this video. So absolutely easy leveling. Um, I got a 5 link. That's because I got the, uh, I got the prophecy for a 5 link dropped from Legion. The Legion mechanic is absolutely fantastic. I really like it. Um, currently, as far as maps, I've gotten as high as tier 7, but I'm not quite running that yet. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of just going through and completing the ones of each tier. So right now I'm working on my tier 4s. Uh, I did as many, I did all the tier 1s. I did all the tier 2s except for the one that Shaper influenced. Can't get a glacier to drop for some reason, so I have to wait until I get three sulfur vents, or I get lucky enough to get a glacier drop so I can actually start, you know, going through and shaping my atlas. But in the meantime, I'm just kind of going through here. I'll have a strand here to run, which I may as well run while we are here. I'm just going to elk it. There's not a lot because of the Slayer Ascendancy um, Headsman. You can't take reflected physical damage. I am running Brutality currently um, because, well, Maim actually lowers my damage, so 53,600 compared to 58, almost 59,000 rather. So, yeah, 59,000 as a base damage. I am running Blood Rage to generate Frenzy Charges. I don't have the extra Frenzy Charge yet. Uh, I may re move things around a little bit. Currently, I need Life. And I think it's more important that I get life from gear because I have pretty pitiful life amounts from my gear at the moment. Uh, only 68 here. Uh, this belt isn't too bad. It's got strength, life, and life. So this one's working pretty good. It's going to give me a shaper or elder item because of the incubator. I have a couple of incubators. Talisman item. 
rare abyss item so i'm really enjoying the incubators i actually found these uh boots pretty early on and i'm still using them i haven't found an upgrade they're actually pretty decent uh as you can see i actually found them before cruel lab because i have my lab enchant on them so um these gloves solo cell phone crafted on attack speed i didn't really change my threshold in terms of attacks per second though um this is pretty bad and <laughs> i need to upgrade that it has good stats just low amounts um this one i actually need the all attributes at the moment and the all resist so can't really replace that one this one is pretty good another one i found from the uh from the legion because it has the uh Godalitzes. Uh, it has one of the temple mods on it, which is the the max life and in, or percent increased max life. And it also happened to have physical damage and all resist. So I'm like, all right, I'll just throw some accuracy on there. Speaking of accuracy, I'm at 97%. I did not take uh, resolute technique. I never at any point dropped below 94% accuracy that's because early on i got art of the gladiator and the attack speed and accuracy here and then beyond that uh, the only accuracy i have is the versatility and the harvester of foes nodes so um i was able to get enough accuracy throughout i kind of just grabbed it whenever i needed it whenever i got down to 95 percent i'd just pick up some more accuracy um, this is fine because I need the intelligence and dexterity anyway, so it feels like I definitely would want that. This is, yeah, not out of my way. None of these are bad nodes just from the other stats I give, like just 6% attack speed is good. Obviously, Art of the Gladiator is good, so I don't feel like these are wasted in any way. So, yeah, defensively, this is all pretty huge. Oh, and I did go over and grab Feller of Foes for the flat accuracy and accuracy there as well. So, decent amount of accuracy throughout. Um, this is the only piece of gear I think that I have accuracy on is the, uh, is the amulet. I'm hoping once I get a higher tier amulet, I can get up to 100%. Uh, of course, I'll level up a little bit. I think, let's see, monster level ends at 86 so I shouldn't have to get too much more accuracy throughout the rest of my course of leveling. I think just having that. But yeah, let's go ahead and just run this strand. I'm not going to bother crafting Abyss. Later on, um, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm probably going to stop doing Chaos Recipe now just because it's a little bit tedious. It was really nice and valuable early on when exalts were so cheap. I don't think I'm going to have the ability to uh, get cheap exalts. But as you can see, the area of Cyclone is quite large. Um, I'm going to go back and get that lab trial because I probably need it. I only have two of the uh, Uber lab trials done right now. But I'm just going to, for the purpose of this video, complete the map. And I'll, I'll just go get it at the end. Running lab is kind of, or running lab trials is a little bit boring, so I just want to show you guys the action. But uh, with the amount of attack speed we get from the tree, we can just easily leap slam through labs and lab trials pretty easily. It is not difficult. Um, all right, so we got ourselves a betrayal here. Uh, we clear the doors pretty quick, and yeah, take them down super fast. Uh, the Culling Strike, of course, helps with our single target, which isn't fantastic, even once we do get the Impales up. It's, uh, you know, it's serviceable. Alright. <laughs> it's serviceable, it's not bad. I'm picking up a lot of stuff here because I have no idea what's worth anything. So, I don't know if Corsair Swords are worth it or not. Um, but it doesn't really matter too much because the tiers... But yeah, the Legion mechanic here, I kind of just go around and look for uh, stuff that has uh, special items over their heads here and try to get as many of those as I can. And then I just try to sweep over a bunch of generic mods, get all that additional stuff there. Um, as you can see, very loot pinata y <laughs> Very, very good amount of loot throughout these. Um, you get tons of uniques from these, you get tons of maps. Uh, so far, 
this has been one of my favorite league mechanics just in terms of pure loot drops i got my talisman there by the way i'll have to check out and see what that looks like <clears throat> yeah for the most part it's nice to do it in open maps because then you can kind of just run around in circles and loop back without having to you know go through too much again <laughs> Like, not having to retrace your steps is a pretty big deal. But, yeah, just try to keep Blood Rage up. Um, the Leech, Fortify, uh, all the different defensive mechanics, it's pretty safe, even with my low life. I'm going to be aiming for over 5,500 for sure. Um, yeah, the DPS is high enough at the moment. Uh, of course, once I get Xeri's Dis Disfavor, which I am saving up for, it'll be much much higher and our AoE will be a, quite a bit higher too because it'll scale the base AoE. Uh, I have a couple of different, all, there are two uh, melee AoE node clusters now, one of which is Axe specific which is one of the reasons why I like Axe so much and one of them is more generic. So, I'm full. That on the ground. All right. And this, I forgot what I was saying entirely. <laughs> it's hard to map and commentate at the same time. That's why usually I just record some mapping footage and talk over it. But I wanted to do this all at once, and I didn't want to have to edit because I want to get back to playing as soon as possible. But I did want to get a video out, so I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take down the boss here. Uh, we can once we get to the boss. I don't actually think it should be much of a problem. Yeah, we take him down pretty quick. We get the culling strike going. It's a very fast kill. So yeah, that's the character so far. Um, once Path of Building updates, I will. Put in the comment section the path of building so you guys can check that out when i have that going i hope you enjoyed this has been ryan from behind eyes gaming and i will see you next time bye